Yo YouTube, what is up? Today we're coming at you with the top 5 best places to find yourself in SOJ. Everybody wants one of these because they're incredibly useful for your casters, and because they're so useful for your casters, they are incredibly valuable online. You could trade these for multiple high runes, you can get all the good gear that you need in order to make your character godly. So I'm coming with a list one after another after another of the best places to find this ring. If you get anything out of the video, make sure you destroy that like button. And now let's get after it. Now before we jump into it here, I am doing this as the drop odds for if you are running on Players 1, as if you were making games over and over and over again online. But I'm doing it with 200% magic find, because I figure if you're going to be running into this stuff, trying to get better items, you're going to have magic find on your character. But not everyone has 800 magic find. I assume that a lot of people have some magic find, so I'm going with 200% magic find. And like I said, the drop chances for Players 1 difficulty. So here we are at the number five best spot to find an SOJ, and this is a great example right here of why, if you're specifically trying to farm the SOJ, this isn't necessarily the best spot, but you're going to be doing normal bail runs probably anyways at some point when you're playing through Diablo 2 Resurrected. Now, it can be not particularly efficient if you're specifically trying to farm for the SOJ. Like you can see, the throne room could be completely full, it takes a lot of time just to clear it out, and if you're doing it in a full party online, you will have to have a quick pickup finger because there's going to be a ton of people trying to snack that SOJ from Bale. But once we get the room cleared here, they're going to throw down all those different waves. That takes even more time. So this isn't necessarily the most efficient way, but you're going to want to keep an eye out for that SOJ while you're doing normal Bale runs to level up here in Diablo 2 Resurrected. So here we are taking out normal bail here, hopefully getting that SOJ if this is the fifth best spot to find it after all. No, I do not. But maybe you will when you're running him. So the fourth best place is actually coming in at Nightmare Diablo. And I'll go ahead and I'll run it real quick. And I'll kind of show you why this isn't necessarily the best place to farm one. As you can see, you have to take this stuff out and it can kind of take forever. That's why it makes it kind of inefficient in order to run here for the SOJ. But this is technically Nightmare Diablo. It was roughly 1 in 7,900, I believe is what it was. Uh, Editor Phil will put it up here right quick what the exact odds were. But as you can see here, Nightmare Diablo, it kind of can take a while to go around to farm Nightmare Diablo. So it's not necessarily the most efficient. And uh, Nightmare Diablo can drop some good stuff similar to what other places in Nightmare can drop. But there's definitely better places on the list in order to find yourself that SOJ. So here we are at the fourth best place to find an SOJ here in Diablo 2 Resurrected. Here we are at the third best place here in order to find an SOJ. And we're actually at normal Diablo. So with this one, it's roughly 1 in 4,815 runs you will find an soj with the 200 percent magic find on players one here that i am doing now diablo is a tough spot to run because it takes a long time you have to go around and do all the seals and so it takes way more time than some of the other ones that are coming up here but this is technically the third fastest way to find an soj here in diablo 2. Uh, unfortunately normal diablo you're not going to find a lot of really good other items if you're really trying to get your soj so this isn't necessarily one that i would recommend but it is the third best place to find one now we're sitting at number two the second best place to find an soj here and we are at hell quest bugged and dario now this is once again not a hard place to farm necessarily and and dario can actually drop a ton of good items as well here i get not a bad item here Check this out. I don't have any scrolls of identify on right now, but that is an immortal king's belt. And I actually found a cornet here that could roll as something GG too if I get really lucky. But the good thing about farming El Andario here, you can find all kinds of good stuff. You can find Shakos and pretty much any of those mid-range to upper mid-range good items you can get from Hell and Dario. So it is really a great place to farm overall. And you can get that SOJ at a pretty good odds. It's roughly one in 3,047. So that's not, doesn't sound like the greatest odds, but it is the second best odds in the game. Now I'll move on to the absolute best place to find an SOJ, and it's actually Nightmare and Dario. Most people might not think this, but actually Nightmare and Dario only has a chance to drop three different rings. That's the SOJ, 
the Nagel and the Manold, so it actually gives you a better chance of finding it from Nightmare Andario. And this is quest bugged, of course. Now, just like always for Andario, you can come over here, take her out easy peasy with almost any character. No SOJ this time, unfortunately. But there are a lot of good things you can actually find from Nightmare Andario too, like Mage Fist, Drang's Gloves, you could find Gold Wraps, uh, Ariat's Face, a bunch of different stuff like that that could really help out a bunch of different characters and actually be worth a little bit on the market. So this is the number one spot to find an SOJ, Quest Bug, Nightmare, and Dariel. If you like that video, make sure you destroy that like button and check over me next to here. YouTube thinks you're gonna like some of these videos, so make sure you click on one of those and keep the sweet fill videos rolling. Peace out, YouTube. Hopefully I catch you in the next video. Don't forget, keep slaying.